Now this one, it's a fun one. I just love this movie. Hello everyone, this is your old pal Hannibal Collector back for 31 days of Halloween and this one's for day nine. And tonight's movie is... Joyride. He's out there! He's watching us! Wait, we're seeing him? Yeah, he just called me. What are you, are you, are you, when he called you on the phone? Yeah, just now! He knew you were in there. He's watching us! There's somebody watching us? Yeah, he just called what me. What did he say? He just, he, 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 he said, I thought there was no girl, and then he asked what you're doing in the other room with her, which you know is a pretty excellent question. Okay, we're getting out of here. So I got to revisit Joyride, and boy, was it a joy to watch. Wait a minute! How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. I mean, it has Paul Walker, Steve Zahn, and Lily Sobieski. That's just a fun name to say. Lily Sobieski. Lily Sobieski. Lily Sobieski. Joyride is a road trip horror movie, and that's one of my favorite genres. If you've never seen this 2001 gem, the film follows Lewis, played by Paul Walker, taking a road trip California to Colorado to pick up Venna. Played by Lily Sobieski, his childhood friend and love interest. And it wouldn't be a 2004 movie without the comic relief character. Enter Fuller, played by Steve Zahn. Fuller is Lewis's estranged brother, and he's been arrested again. So it's up to Lewis to make a slight detour to Salt Lake City, Utah, to bail his brother out. So Lewis's romantic run to pick up Venna just got a third wheel. Now keep in mind, while most people had the internet in the early 2000s, not everyone had a cell phone yet. So it's kind of nice to watch a movie that doesn't have any use of cell phones. So while the internet is referenced, you see Paul Walker and Vina mostly use pay phones and landline phones throughout the movie. During one of those times that Lewis stops to make a call at a pay phone, Fuller decides to have a CB installed in his brother's car as a thank you, but also just for him to get some shits and giggles. Because during their road trip, Fuller convinces Lewis to join him in pranking truckers using the CB radio. It's a uh, mama's boy. And this is when Lewis plays the character of Candy Cane. Hey Black Sheep, this is Candy Cane. I've been looking for you all day. Oh, and Candy Cane gets the attention of old Rusty Nails. Candy Cane, come on. <laughs> I knew it. These guys are so fucking horny. All right, get him going, get him all worked up, and then in the middle of it, say, hey, guess what? I'm a dude. <laughs> and it's all harmless fun until the boys take it too far. And now you have an escalated situation. Go, go! That eventually involves the trio. Being pursued. This is such a fun movie with a fresh face cast in 2001. And I know this can be argued, but I think they had some great screen chemistry. And I'm just going to say it right now Steve Zahn is so underappreciated in this movie. I mean, really, from him, you actually get not just his comedy. Lewis is older, so my troubled brother. And you're definitely going with us, right? Oh, I kind of have to go back to San Antonio. Isn't San Antonio on the way to New Jersey? It was nice to meet you. You are breaking my heart, leaving like this. Uh, it's so Charlotte. Just waving, driving off like that. But there are some sincere moments that are just, it really ties everything together for me. Fun fact, Steve Zahn's a classically trained actor with a degree from Harvard. Friends fans, Phoebe's boyfriend done good. And while not the same quality, I am a fan of the two direct-to-video sequels. They're just a fun watch, and I especially like three. Three is cheesy in all the good ways. If you haven't seen the third one, watch the third one. Jesus, what's that guy's problem? It's the guy Austin pissed off. Once again, I don't own any of these movies. I really should pick them up, and I'll tell you why. Apparently, there's numerous deleted scenes, 
but there's also a few alternate endings as well. And it's the alternate endings that moves Joyride to the top of my want list. It'll be on my Amazon wish list if anybody wants to help me out. Wink, wink. And here's some stuff that puts things in context for you too. Lily Sobieski filmed two romantic scenes, one with Paul Walker and one with Steve Zahn, that got cut. So when you watch this movie, keep in mind that apparently her character was originally going to kind of be into both brothers. And it kind of changes the movie a little bit for you. Try that. And uh, that was my day nine of 31 days of Halloween. And I want to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this video. If you made it this far, you are a true hero. I appreciate you so much. You guys did really good on yesterday's video. I got a lot more subscribers, and that's what I like. We're still working on engagements, so make sure you like, follow, share. Even if you just put an emoji down at the comment section, I'll 100% appreciate you. Shout out to all of you. Hope you're having a great day. And until next time, this is your old pal, Hannibal Collector. Signing off. And it's not easy.